Greek Philogius Julie, Nereus and his sister and Olympus, and all the saints who are with them, greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ greet you. Welcome to Daily Devotions at Cram and Kirk on Friday the 14th of August 2020. Inspirational saints are the theme of our devotions this week. Let us pray. You fearful saints, fresh courage take. The clouds you so much dread are big with mercy and shall break in blessings on your head. Amen. This particular Old Testament saint helps us to honour the outcast. Her name is Rahab and she's a complicated person with divided loyalties. Her actions saved herself and her family but led to the destruction of her city and a lot of lives were lost. Rahab was a prostitute and as such she was an outcast from mainstream life. She was, according to the book of Joshua, a woman who lived in Jericho and she did assist the Israelites in capturing that city. She did so by hiding two men who'd been sent to reconnoitre the city prior to the attack. Her actions did save her city. By New Testament times, though, she is lauded as being an example of a saint who lived by faith. Many people are drawn to the Christian faith because it offers healing for those whose behaviour has been unacceptable or who are broken in body, mind or spirit. Lives that seem to be worthless can be redeemed and restored. Everyone can have a part to play in God's purposes for the world and that's encouraging. Let's remind ourselves of what the New Testament has to say about this unusual saint, the letter of James. Likewise, was not Rahab the prostitute also justified by works when she welcomed the messengers and sent them out by another road? Or in Hebrews chapter 11, by faith Rahab the prostitute did not perish with those who were disobedient because she had received the spies in peace. Perhaps most surprising of all is that in Matthew's Gospel, Rahab is mentioned as an ancestor of Jesus himself. It says, And Salmon, the father of Boaz by Rahab, and Boaz the father of Oped by Ruth, and Oped the father of Jesse, and so on. This is Jesus' genealogy from Matthew chapter 1. Rahab's story leaves questions in our minds. The one that sticks with me this morning is this. Does my attitude to other people encourage them to believe that God loves them and accepts them and has a role for them, no matter their past behaviours? Let us pray. Great and loving God, as we join in these daily devotions, we thank you that we are never alone, but in the company of all your people. Open our hearts and minds to the saints, past and present, who have shown courage in challenging situations, whose example has strengthened others across the centuries. Lord God, we pray for those today who are struggling with a lack of decisiveness and hold in your healing presence all who are ill in body, mind and spirit. We draw close to anyone who's consumed by guilt or fear and in all the duties and activities of the day be our companion through Jesus Christ in whose name we pray, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. And we close the service by sharing in the blessing. May the peace of God, which is beyond human understanding, keep our hearts and our minds in the knowledge and love of Christ. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, rest upon us and remain with us from this day and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>